This evening, the Twin Tiers facing high water levels, ice jams, power outages, and some frustrated homeowners are battling against damaging floods. Good evening. I'm Kevin Gefeller in for Zach Wheeler tonight. And I'm Maria Cha. Thank you for joining us for 18 News at 6. After a night of heavy rains and flood watches, many property owners woke up to some major damages. And in Elmira, water and snow melt drained onto West Clinton Street, causing hazardous conditions. Our 18 News reporter Tara Lynch has more about the frustrations of some residents. Snow melt and rain combined for some flooding on roads in the Twin Tiers. Here on West Clinton Street, the water actually went into the road and for one homeowner into his house. The rain started to come down and started to melt away some of the snow and what happened was it, it started piling along here and um, didn't have anywhere to drain. Property flooding was a problem for many Twin Tiers homeowners Friday who woke up to pooling water inside and outside of their homes. Heavy rain and snow melt Thursday night caused one block of West Clinton Street to turn into what residents call a swimming pool. It gets to a point where the water has nowhere to go off of my property and uh, comes right through the wall. For Smith, he has several drains and pumps, but water from his neighbor's yards pools at his home. He's frustrated with the town. I'm thrown into, into circles uh, with no resolution. As the spring thaw looms near, there are some best practices to prepare for the heavy melt. Clear your gutters and storm drains. Making sure your gutters are clear of debris and stuff would help. Clean out any gunk. If the worst happens, the Do It Center says they have experts ready to help. You can call us here. We do have people that we know that are general contractors that will come out and help you. While temperatures are cold this weekend, warmer weather is on the way, so experts say it's important to prepare now. Reporting in Elmira, I'm Tara Lynch.